Hey guys, welcome. This is uh, Mr. E again, doing his uh, comic call for the week. Right here is uh, Strange Tales number 40. Yeah, one increase right here, but overall, the cover is pretty nice. Then I got uh, this book also from eBay from a seller. Coco number uh, 42. I just like the cover. Uh, Frank Fazetta uh, did some artwork in it. I just like the cover. I thought it was cool because I like space and all that plant stuff. It's pretty cool. They also sent me a couple of freebies. The first freebie is uh, Secret Wars number two, number three. This is a pretty good shape. It's a cool cover though. The other one I thought was kind of neat. It's a new stand edition of the New Warriors number one. It's got uh, like three spine ticks I can see. Yeah, it, it's rough, but it was free. That's pretty cool. The next seller, I got all these from uh, Infinity Comics. Uh, this is Captain America 257. Crow Hulk cover. Battling uh, Captain America. It's pretty cool. I like it when he fights him. Then I also got Captain America uh, 258. This is a really cool cover. I really like the artwork on this one. Really neat. And then I got Captain America 272. It's a new stand. Yeah, it's pretty good shape considering how old it is. Anyway, I just got it because I like the rats. on it. He's in a sewer. They're biting him and stuff. I guess he looks like he's knocked out, whatever. Just like the cover, I thought it was cool. And this is Captain America 292. Uh, he's fighting the. Uh, it says, Beware of the Black Crow. The Black Crows are up in here. Looks like they're on a bridge. I don't know which bridge it would be. Probably Golden Gate Bridge, most likely. But I thought it was a cool cover. I liked it. Then I got uh, Captain America. Two ninety five. It has a uh, says Wind Strike, the Sisters of Sin. Cover. It's pretty cool. And Captain America 297. This is neat. It's got airplane cover right here. It says, Will Bucky die again? All right, so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good, cool uh, airplane action scene right here where they're falling out of the airplane. Then I got uh, Captain America 308. Armadillo, he's no laughing matter. So I'm assuming it's the first appearance of Armadillo. That was kind of neat. Then I got Captain America 311. It's pretty cool, I like that one. And this is another one with Armadillo. It says Armadillo attacks 82 stories high. So he's like, he has 82 stories high. Guest starring uh, Hawkeye. It's number 316 of Captain America. It's 
it's pretty cool. And this one I really like. It's one of the colors I like. I've been trying to get this one. It's a little beat up, but it's a new stand. It presents pretty good. It's uh, Captain America 321. Might even have a little tape pull right there, but it presents pretty good. It's pretty neat. I'm trying not to spend too much money on the Captain America fillers. Okay, this is uh, X Men now. Okay, X Men number 151. The day Key uh, Pride leaves the X Men is the day X Men fall. Right here. And then I got a 184 newsstand. I think this is the first appearance of Forge. Anyway, it's a one A four X. Okay, X Men one A four. In really good shape for a new stand. Then also got uh, this one right here. Uncanny X Men one ninety nine. It's a uh, five point five. But it's really dirty. I mean, really dirty. It's got some, you know, stuff on the sides and stuff. But I think it'd be higher if it was cleaned. And it's right here. I like the cover. So, it wasn't that much. So I think if it got pressed and clean, it might be higher than 5.5. I mean, right here you can see dirt across here. It's pretty bad. All right. Then I got Walt Disney Uncle Scrooge. I don't know what issue is for Dell Comics. It's from December to February. Um, anyway, it's right here. It's a little rough. I didn't pay that much money for it, though. I just got to like the uh, Christmas uh, theme on it. So I didn't really spend only like I mean five dollars for or something like that. But it still presents pretty good though. Alright. I got a couple of what ifs. I got what if number 34. That was a cool quirky cover right here. Then I got uh Number 35. This one is What If Electra Had Lived. That was a pretty cool cover. Pretty neat. Not. Right. Next one is Justice League of America, number 46. I got this one only because I like the cover. Reminds me of the old Batman uh, TV series. You know, I used to watch the reruns when I was a kid. When they punch people, they go pow, bam, and all that. This is the same thing. So that's what I got. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, you got, uh, looks like Blockbusters on the cover with, uh, Solomon, uh, Grundy. And it looks like uh, Batman and Sandman and Wildcat are being, you know, getting their butts kicked right here. What I like about it, the coolest though, you see Wildcat's going through the O of Pal. And his sock, you got uh, Solomon Grunny's fist right there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then Thud, they're laying on the word Thud, Batman and Sandman. That was Cool interaction right there. All right, now I got Little Orphan Annie. This is the Mellow Way, I think, from Pops cereal, I believe. Anyway, um, I didn't want to spend that too much money on it. I mean, you can get them all day long for like twenty. This was like I got for like I think five or six dollars. I just thought it was cool. It's got a couple of tears up here. So it's probably the uh, 
about five. It was cheap though. Try to get up at the Comic Con when I went over the local one. Do you want 500 for it? That's way overpriced. And then I got a Marvel premiere featuring, a, I think it's called, let's see, Paladine. Uh, it's number 43. I just like the cover. It's got a lot of action and stuff in it. The reason I bought it was like a couple of dollars. That was a pretty cool cover. The next one is uh, Dominic Fortune. Marvel Premier Premiere uh, 56. Right here. I like the again, I like the cover of this one. That was cool. Then I got Marvel Superheroes presenting the pulse pounding Phantom Eagle. Yeah. I got this because it's first appearance of Phantom Eagle. Plus, it's got airplanes on the cover. Bad planes at that. I think this is cool. It's pretty cool. If you can see the planes right there. And again, it was real cheap. I didn't pay that much money for it. That was cool. Alright, here are the Wonder Woman ones I got. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Uh, 288 the cover is cool this character down here kind of like almost talking to you that was pretty neat anyway I like the way they drew her it's pretty cool you can see it's pretty neat that was a cool cover and then I got this one this is a little beat up but it's got a uh, Bonus with the free insert of Master of the Universe. It's one on two uh, ninety seven. It's like two dollars. I think I pay like two fifty or something for it. It's a little beat up, but it's cool. Still presents pretty good. It's just got a lot of spine ticks. And then I got this one right here because I liked the cover. I thought it was cool. And it's got a. Uh, See, so it's uh, issue number 298. It's got a uh, Wonder Woman skeleton, basically. I think it's a Frank Miller cover, I think. I just thought it was cool. Very neat. Then this one right here is Action Comics 512. Um... It shows, uh, it says, uh, looks like Superman's kissing Lex Luthor's bride. It says, Superman's stealing my bride. That's what Lex Luthor is saying. And then he yells, no one does that to Lex Luthor and lives. And as you can see, Superman don't care. That's pretty cool. Thought that was an interesting cover. I like the colors. No, right. next one is Batman... 528. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have that one, but I could have already bought it, but I'm not sure. I don't think I do, though. That was cool. Alright, now a couple of Ghost Riders. That Ghost Rider number 75, the first appearance of Still Wind. That was cool. It's kind of like an 80s homage kind of thing going on here. You got the, uh, and those uh, sports bikes that has like a ninja or whatever. That was pretty neat. But then I thought this was cool. You got Ghost Rider number 76. And it's like. Uh, it says, separate at last. Johnny Blaze battles the Ghost Rider. They're in hell, basically. Basically, they're in hell. And he's fighting the demon, the Ghost Rider. Let's see. And 
think it's Miss. That's just anyway. This guy right here's in. It. I can't remember his name. I have a bad problem about remembering names. Anyway, yeah, he appeared in uh, Silver Surfer number three. This is his name. Dang, I can't remember. Anyway, going on. All right, Green Lantern. I got wild Green Lanterns this time. I don't have that many Green Lanterns, but this time I like several cover covers. All right, this is uh, Green Lantern and the Green Arrow number ninety-two. It's got a horse on it, a knight. That's why I bought it. Things cool. Got a lot of horse comic books. Just like horses. It's pretty cool. And then this one I like because it's a split image. You got one side Sinestro, the other side uh, Hal Jordan. This is Green Lantern number 132. It says Extra Tales of the Green Lantern Corps. So I got this one because I like the cover. I like how it's got the extra thing at the bottom too. So you got like uh, three lanterns. You got two Hal Jordan. So plus a green. That was pretty striking. Well done cover. It's pretty cool. Then I got this one right here. This is uh, Green Lantern 150. Uh, it's a 150 anniversary issue, double size. It says, Meet Hal Jordan, Rand Gang Green Lantern Earth, leader of the anti uh, GL Corps. His only thought is to destroy, destroy, destroy. Anyway, so right here. This is a little beat up. And I got another copy of it too because I was watching two copies. I forgot about watching two copies and I bought this one. But this one's the second one I bought. It's in really good shape though. So I'm kind of glad I did buy a second one. The first one was in such a great shape. It only cost a couple dollars a piece though. <coughs> Alright. This is Doom Patrol number 104. Last the girl marries Mento. It has a uh, Superman, Batman, Teen Titans, Flash, uh, Wonder Woman, and Super Hip cameo. It's right here. That was pretty neat. Alright, the last two books right here. I got a. Uh, they had a lot of off. They got. I think they had all the all famous police cases on the auctions. Um, I want two. I put them in on just about all of them for like forty five. I want two. A lot of people were watching them, so I got number eight right here. See our back crease right here. That's the only thing wrong with it, really. A little spot up here, and a roll, spine roll, a little chip out right here. That's about it, though. I mean, it presents pretty good. That was kind of neat. So that'll be cold cover. They want to get some of these covers. I like the colors he uses. It's pretty cool. It's almost like he's a, you know, like uh, some of the fine artists used to do back in the day, like Matisse and stuff. Um, this is uh, number 16. This is one of the favorite ones. This is the last one he did in this series, but I like it because it's a little bit offbeat than he normally does. It's not as bright as he normally does, but it's still striking the way he did it. It's more muted than he normally does. I thought it was pretty interesting. See a little corner missing right here, but it doesn't take away. Anyway, that is it for my comic haul. If you guys enjoy it, uh, like, subscribe, uh, click what you want, click what you like, and don't get trapped in FOMO. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.